Amp Studio is a special device for programming drums known as the Drumpler. So we're going to add a new track here called Drums, and I'm going to come over and I'm going to add a device called the Drumpler. It's the first one. And opening it up, this is the Drumpler. We have a set of pads that have our drum sounds on them. There are various controls for each pad. For example, if I want this first kick to be a lot shorter, I can just adjust the end time and it ends a whole lot faster. You can also choose different drum kits to suit your music very quickly. So if you just want a set of samples to get rolling, this will fit for you. It's great for genre work. If you just want to start making house, there's a kit in here for house music. You can also trigger this with your keyboard. If you actually come up and turn on the virtual keyboard, the keys are actually labeled for you. So for example, if I hit Q, right now we're hearing the first track because I have the MIDI on this track. So I'm gonna go ahead and enable it for the drums. So now we can hear the kick, snare, and go ahead and go for some hats or some shakers and away we go. So if you'd like to use your keyboard, that is an option for you. You just activate the virtual keyboard. So let's go ahead and program a few quick drums real fast. So the first thing let's do, let's do a, a simple future bass kind of a rhythm. So the tempo for future bass, uh, we're gonna go for 150-ish. There's a lot of future bass around that tempo. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll with this Berlin kit for a little bit. Probably use the second kick and let's go ahead, put down a MIDI region, just double click, click on the region again. And I'm gonna leave the cut tool because that's gonna throw me off. And let's go ahead and just write in some notes here. So the way it works is every C, the pads repeat. We notice we have 12 pads and there are 12 notes. So they repeat every C. So you could start on any one that's the most convenient for you. I'm gonna go ahead and use C5 and just write in a drum pattern. And so with future bass, I'm gonna go with a very sparse pattern. Typically you'll have a lot of room for other sounds. So I'm gonna go ahead and put down a C. And then on the third beat, I'm going to add in a clap sound. And that's what I'm gonna do for there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold down Alt, click, drag. This will allow me to clone the pattern and I can very quickly just go ahead and shave off that drum. And you'll notice that it actually puts the, the drum in here. So we can actually adjust this as we see fit to play other things. And if we go ahead and set up a region, we have a very basic drum pattern. And so, I mean, if you can envision some chords and things, we're gonna add some stuff. And then let's go ahead and add in a hat or something. So let's see what we got here. So that hat sounds pretty nice. We're gonna do some eighth notes perhaps. And let's just alt click drag to clone a note. And we're going to simply have this repeat like so. You can actually click the note while holding control to select all the notes that are on that uh, that note, if that makes any sense. So see how we only have these selected? I can control click, now I've selected them all. Pretty handy way to quickly select everything. So now we have, but we have a, a pretty basic problem. First, let's get rid of this uh, kick drum. We notice that the hi-hat and the clap are not playing at the same time. That's probably because they are part of the same group. So if we come in here to the clap sound, we see it's on group one. Let's go ahead and just put it on group two so that it and the hat don't cut each other off. Where are you, hat? This thing. See how this is also on group one? So we're gonna go ahead and just change those so that they no longer fight with each other. I'd also like that hat to be a bit shorter, so we're gonna come into the ch sound and we're gonna go ahead and just drag the end down a little bit. And that's about where I want it. So let's go ahead and add in some additional sounds just to give you a picture for this. So I found this future bass sound that I really like. But the drums themselves kind of need to be split up in order for me to be able to process them separately. So to do this, you can simply right click on a track, go to clone track, and I'd like to process this kick a little separately. So I'm gonna select all these regions here and hold alt click drag, and I'm gonna call this one my kick drum, kick. I'm gonna select all these hats and remove them. So now I have a clean kick track. Oh, you know what? I've done this backwards. Uh, I'm gonna just call this one kick. And I'm gonna come onto this one and we're gonna call this one our hat. And on the hat one, we are going to select all the kick drums and simply remove them. 
So now we have hats and kicks are separate and on these kicks, I'm gonna go ahead and bring the compressor up a bit. I've added a bit of a compression. But you see, it's very easy to quickly get going. Just find what you're looking for and away you go. Now, the way I found these chords, by the way, is you can come over to the sound library tab and actually search for things. So I simply typed in chord because that's what I was looking for. And it popped out a bunch of sweet chords that we can use and the tempos they're used at. So I went ahead and adjusted my tempo like so. Let's go ahead and make a quick house rhythm too while we're at it. So I've started a new track. We're gonna open up, we're gonna add a drum track. On this track, we're gonna put a drumpler. And on the drumpler, they actually already have a house kit at the bottom called Tech House. So let's go for that and let's add a region. Double click the region to open up the note editor. And uh, the house rhythm is actually pretty simple. I had a friend, he's a, he's a very well-known lighting guy in the DJ world, and he, he defines house as anything that goes boots and cats. If you can do boots and cats to it, boots and cats and boots and cats, then he said it's some kind of house music. So what we're going to do is we're going to follow the boots and cats theorem, and the way it works is we're just going to put a kick down. Let me make sure this is our kick drum. And then we've got a hat, which is usually F sharp. I really like that. So we're going to put a clap there. So the claps go on the weak beats, beats three and four. We're going to have a kick on beats one and three. Oh yeah, and that's nice. A nice shaker on the ands of the beat. If you know music theory, when we count eighth notes, we count one and two and three and four in. So we're going to go ahead and put those on the ands of the beats. And that's pretty nice. And we're just going to repeat this. House is nice because there's quite a bit of repetition in it. We're going to go ahead and uh, create a loop region up here. On this, I'm going to go ahead and just add a mini compressor. We're going to come over to the effects, compressor mini, bring it up. Beautiful. And then on the first track, we're going to go ahead and search for something different this time. This time, we're going to look for a lead sound. Mm, that one's pretty nice. So let's go ahead and drag this guy onto our lead and we see that the tempo is 130 So let's go ahead and adjust accordingly and let's just clone this twice and let's just hear this right now And while we're here on the track, so if this is gonna be our lead track, let's go ahead and just experiment real quick I'm gonna remove the volt mini. We don't need it and we're going to go to effects and let's see what this sounds like with a bit of distortion on it. So there you go. We've layered some drums extremely quickly, sequenced them super fast, and we've got in our sound. We're away, we're cooking. We could look for more synth sounds, more effects, begin to lay out a track and away you go. But that's drum programming with the Drumpler. If you have any questions about this, feel free to let me know. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos. Get on Amp Studio today and make something cool and share it with us. And have a blessed day.